Hey, what's up? This is a reply to the Apple thread about the M1 chip and a capture card. You're looking at 4K quality captured with a cam link 4K. So this is what it looks like. No editing has been done other than this. That is a Fujifilm X-T3, 4K settings, 30 frames per second. So now let's jump to the same card, but with 1080p settings now. All right, so now this is the same cam link, but with 1080p, also 30 frames per second, I'm using a MacBook Pro with 16 gigabytes of RAM, a terabyte of disk, if that makes any difference. Um, the next capture card that we're gonna test out is this $10 version. It's <laughs> really as cheap as you can get. It's a USB-C. Oh, and by the way, everything is going through a USB uh, dock, which is USB 3, not 3.1, not 3.2, just a USB 3 dock. All right, so this is the $10 capture card. You should be able to see the colors are different. The compression is a lot worse, but it's still a 1080p signal and it's 10 times cheaper than this. And this is the $10 version. I actually cost 20, I got it for $10 on a discount. But the point is that um, you can find different capture cards for very cheap on the internet right now, on Amazon, eBay, whatever else, AliExpress. Is it worth getting one of these if 4K doesn't work? Or should you get something cheaper? Maybe not this cheap, <laughs> but you get what I'm saying. I mean, the choice is up to you. Just wanted to also add that 1080p on the Camlink 4K is not always perfect. This video was shot in 4K. You can see that it's choppy. It doesn't happen all the time, but there's no ways to controlling or previewing it. So sometimes you end up with choppy footage like this. So. Yeah, the Camlink 4K on the M1 Mac is not perfect, not even at 1080p. In the Italian server. So now I'm going to hit uh, the same search. Uh, so P-A, oh, it's there already. 